Hello Internets and welcome to this kind of explanation video where I have a different PC setup of sorts. You see here I have my modified quite heavily Fujitsu and we have the old RX 470 card in there as well as an ASUS sound card. I have sorted my audio problems out by mainly disabling devices I weren't using but this graphics card is in here because my 980 has failed on me and Nvidia's drivers are complete trash so I can only assume the card is broken. I can't get the card installed at all on another PC to even prove it's working and as I was actually saying there is this which I was waiting for where it says I've got 179 updates presumably including the service packs and such like so we go and select all of these and now it's really just a case of wait for these to install because when they are I should be able to record but I can't open my AMD driver now if we go on that, I believe this is probably attributed to it not having the stuff, but I don't know. AMD drivers are usually pretty good. Unlike my experience with NVIDIA ones, it is a bias, I guess you could say, but it's biased by trying to be acceptant of NVIDIA, Nvidia drivers and failing badly. Now here, I've got some stuff copying off a USB flash drive because now my desktop is installed on the SSD up here a 240GB SSD instead of the 500GB drive just below it you can see there and that is a 2TB drive just below that so all in all we've got a lot of storage on this PC now should make recording stuff a lot easier a 2TB will be used for recording stuff actually if I go to computer Sorry, I'm doing odd things with my arms like crossed over here. I can't really show it on the camera, but yeah, my, um, I'm okay. I, I probably should have stopped that. Oh, starts coming up. Oh dear. We have our drives here. There's our headphone cable. Main SSD. We have a system reserve for some reason. The E, which is the project drive still, what I'm going to work on projects on, and mass clip storage is the 2 terabyte drive, so that's what I'm going to use to store the clips and a few finished files as well. There you go, 9% complete though, the SSD is helpful when we're talking about this stuff compared to an old drive, old spinning drive. And BeamNG stuff as well, copying across nicely. That includes the map I was working on quite a while ago, but had to stop because of, well, computer situation. But now that's all back and running, I should be able to continue with the map. BeamNG works, just not automation. Again, I think that's to do with not having service pack one yet, though. I have Wi-Fi working. I found the driver disk for my USB Wi-Fi dongle, so I stuck that in the back. And all in all, once this stuff is done, once these uh, 186 updates are done, I should be able to start recording again and hopefully make videos better than I was doing recently. Because, as I was getting into earlier on in the video, you get this after a few reboots of Windows, and it says you've got like over 100 updates to do after only installing two or three at a time. And by that point you just go ahead and do them because it's going to update your windows and make it all work. That's Windows 7 at least. I'm not using Windows 10 yet. I'll probably have Windows 10 on a system to record on, just not on this system at this time since 7 is serving me well. I've got another keyboard as well. Another cheapo keyboard, but it's actually really nice to type on. And I've actually got the matching mouse. <laughs> Which is where that I get a matching set. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So, goodbye until another day.